Oh, you're, you're trying to get discount? Oh, yeah. I'm going to make eye contact. For candy, man. From the power block, bro. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, shmeet shmeezies. We're headed to Pennsylvania, Huntington. I fucked that up. <laughs> I would definitely put that in there. <laughs> West Virginia! West Virginia! <laughs> I'd like to get a foot long, but I'm afraid that might hurt a little bit. I want the whole oh, foot. No. <laughs> Last year we attended this con and some feller, mystery feller that is, decided to take himself a dump right next to our video games. So let's see what's in store this year. Took a shit right next to us, a human being. <laughs> you know it, you know it, you know it. Unload those video games. Try to get a little throttle on there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so nuts, son? Are you gonna buy these games or are you gonna take your lady to a steak dinner? Yeah, first customer we get is old stingy beans and uh, I've had some tight wads in my day but this guy's girlfriend was complaining she was hungry and not being fed. And used the last of his lunch money instead of take his old lady out to eat. Oh <laughs> hey, if he's afraid to give her a steak dinner, I'll give her my sirloin. <laughs> Once you buy these, are you gonna take her to a fine diner? Or? Absolutely. <laughs> is he is he being truthful? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Probably. Come on, be real. You need to get these. Take your steak and shake, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can I see the Disney Emperor? <laughs> He's McDonald's now. <laughs> yeah, you can get a steak and egg biscuits. That's okay. <laughs> Not the same? No. I'll take this <laughs> You just want these two? Yeah. Uh, 26, 51. 50. If you promise to take your lady to a fine dime and you treat her with a, an alcoholic beverage. Deal. All right. See? I can't stop looking at that girl. Uh, uh. Explain it. I don't know what I'm explaining. Here, why don't you explain it and then I'll open no, it back. Better if you explain it because you're I don't, clueless. Yeah, right. <laughs> Apparently, we're going to start a new segment on our channel. I don't know what it's called, What's what it is. It? So yeah, that shows how much I know. <laughs> but apparently I have to open this bag and sell whatever's in here to somebody. It's probably a big rubber or something. Retail. If I can't sell whatever's in this bag for retail, I have to pay $20 out of my own pocket to buy someone a game. All right. It looks like I'm going to be selling Dingle Bear Ease chocolate covered gummy bears. I'm going to say this is a $6 piece. Ten. Ten dollars for this? <laughs> you paid ten dollars for this. In South Carolina. Oh my god. You got a case of the sneezes. Yeah. You know what fixes that? This chocolate candy here will fix that for you. <laughs> for ten bucks it can belong to you. Oh, you're going to pass on that. Chocolate covered dingleberries. She's thinking. No, I'm She's not. She's thinking. <laughs> Cures a cough. Is that a soft pass or a hard pass? That's a hard pass. Hard pass. He's used to that. Mm. I'm good. No? What you if good? I can eat the whole box in under 30 seconds? I don't know. Maybe five. Huh? Five. Five seconds? Yeah, five. That's impossible. You know what I mean? I'll put all the dingleberries <laughs> in my mouth for five seconds. No? <laughs> Think about it. Mm. I guess nobody eats dingleberries for breakfast. Sure. I'm a fat kid. I love candy. It costs money though. Oh. Huh? Well, poop. Yeah, well, poop exactly. Oh, Jesus. You don't want it? No. I don't want dingleberries. How about shit Nah, I'm good. 
You got beef? Yeah, I got beef. So Jared is such a, he told me the retail on these things were $10. I go to sell it and the retail's $8.99. I was including tax. That it, that's more than enough. So let's, let's was, lower South, the price. In South Carolina, the tax is 10%. So it's now a 950 piece. <laughs> This next feller, oh, we'll call him old Dookie Smack, was interested in a couple of old video games. Uh, this is Dragon Strike and River City Ransom. How much do you want to pay? 55. 55. Cash money. Cash sheesh. How about 65? And I get to pick someone to slap the shit out of you. We do 60. Oof. How about 60 and they slap you four times under our terms? Under your terms? Twice. How about? No, no baby slaps. How about three? Yeah? You'll do 60 and three slaps? Yep. Alright, All right, this next stun's gonna take two diaper dicks, so we gotta. Fish us another contestant for the old poopy trick. That looks so good. How about we just 120 and I'll just pay it right now. It's not as fun, man. Yeah, yeah but uh, what's, what's, what's you don't know what's in there, though. <laughs> Come around the table. We're gonna get this deal, and then we're gonna work work with you. All right. It's tough to give discounts these days. People don't want discounts. What are you looking to get here, man? They're all ten dollar games. Everyone's exactly ten. Yep, Bomberman, Lunar, and Sword of Mana. Nice. So we got thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Well, I'm, I'm curious. What kind of challenge do you have? Oh, you're, you're trying to get discount? Oh yeah. What do you What do you mean challenge? Well, I've heard miscellaneous things. Things about diaper. Things about slapping. What kind of things? Wait, does that mean you have different challenges for ladies? Yeah. Okay. Where in the hell did this lady come from? <laughs> There's three diapers. If okay. you just put your little phalangelanges and you pick a number out, whatever that number is, is the discount you get off your $30 lot. Our three numbers are two, five, and nine. That's 2%, 5%, or? $2, $5, or $9. Oh, gotcha. What's the the slapping thing I was hearing about? I'll throw in another two schmucks. You just give someone a roundhouse. Slap them so hard. Okay. Do we have willing participants in your We're going to call They're on dial. We got Cody over here. What would you Cody? This is game. You can take Okay. He, he's gonna be bitch slapping you. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll, I'm taking away the Bomberman, but I'm still going good with the Sword of Mana and Lunar. So, I'm sorry. For this challenge, we used some baby diapers, some numbered candles, some liquid ass spray, and some chocolate pudding. All right, oh, come here. We have three diapers here. Oh. You gotta pick one, two, or three. <laughs> okay. You don't gotta look at it, do you? You're picking diaper one? Yep. Oh, what is that? <laughs> two. You got, are you gonna smell it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, it's a two. Here, it's give, a two. give it one more smell. No. One more smell. So you got the worst discount, unfortunately. Yep. He happened to get the lowest numbered candle. <laughs> I get slapped three times. Now I'm remember, sorry. he said he said slap the shit out of. The, no, and, and, this is on your all's terms. So. Oh, I can smell it. What's, what's the smell like? Pure ass. 
Oh, God. Yeah, a little bit on the side. All right. All right. I'll see you in the bathroom. <laughs> Ooh, that one smacked more. All right, just oh. get it over with. Yeah. All right, as hard as you can. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, you you got to shake. It's sugar, so that'll help keep you going for today. Just gummy bears. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> what about your old lady here? You need some chocolate covered gummy bears? No, thank you. What you didn't know is I put a little... Uh, these two meat wallets literally were in the bathroom for 15 minutes cleaning the Texas spray off. I got some dog shit in there, too. I didn't know. It's like, yeah, not human poop, but I use dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just kidding. Sure, right. I know. Right. 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 What did it smell like? Real shit? Are your smell? hands clean? Yes. Well, you want to smell? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance you would take 15? Oh, he's, he's doing the... Act. You throwing in an extra buck? All right, I feel bad. He picked the worst number. I gag. Shit stain right there. Yep. Oh man. Sixteen dollars off. I'm no mathematician, but that's like five thirty-three a smack. Is he a heavy gunner like he claims? I don't know if he's a heavy gunner, but it definitely wasn't light. <laughs> well, we got sixty schmucks. Yep. I would shake, but you got the yeah. little shit stain going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have had athletes come to our booth before. We've had Doma Top Peco of the Cincinnati Bengals, but nothing could prepare us for our, our hero, the Red Rifle himself, Andy Daltonis. I finally get to meet my, my role model, the quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals, Andy Dalton. That four game, come on, Andy. Any lower, all that money you make. Uh -huh. What's Andy looking at? Haunting ground. What are you thinking? You got Kashish? Maybe do 90. How about 95 and you give me your autograph? Why would you want my autograph? You're my favorite player, so I just want to get your autograph. So. Alright. When did they start uh, calling you the Red Rifle? <laughs> Will you sign at number 14 and write who day after? <laughs> oh god. Andy? You want me to sign at Andy? Yep. People pay real money for that thing? What the hell is that? <laughs> Can I get a who day? A what now? A who day? A who day? La who day? Who day? Who day? Who day? Come on, Andy, you don't know your <laughs> your team slogan. <laughs> get us a playoff win this year. All right. <laughs> old Buzz just landed the old red rifles autograph for five bucks. So you can buy this Andy Dalton autograph for ten bucks. Uh. So what's your what's your game plan here? Let's go over to this lady. If you could name her after one game, what would it be? Probably Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Cannon Spike. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to donate, fine with us. All right. So our next door, our next door vendor, Old Twin Peaks. I mean, we really couldn't understand what she was speaking of. It was hard to pay attention. But I'm sure she was selling her some some Cannon Spike. I have to sell these candies here by the end of the day. I'm thinking if you bought them from me, then I'll donate double whatever you pay for this. <laughs> Man, of course, Buzzy's being a little tricky ass turd trying to sell these dingleberries. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> yeah. Tight around my guns. Is you know? it? Okay, yeah. that's good. It'll show them off. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> this would be great. I'll give it to my friend for Christmas. All right, so you're gonna give me nine bucks for that. Nine bucks, and here's awesome. my eighteen dollar donation. That is wonderful. Thank you. I definitely did not cheat. I improvised. He's trying to get me to sell something over retail value. What he calls cheating, I call winning. What's it feel like selling dingleberries? 
it's tough when all I can stare at is her, her cannons, man. My <laughs> lanta. Putting in 40 hours and broke at the end of the week. Bills through the situation is bleak. No sleep, stomach rumbling, hunger pain, struggling. Mumbling to myself, I don't want none of this. None of this heartache, none of this stress. Feeling like I'm cursed. Mom told me I was blessed. Just a broke college graduate with so much potential. Living below average is fucking with my mental. Cause I went by the book and did things the right way. Should have been a crooked ride. I don't know and I don't care. Oh, I'm already taken. Not even down south? Yeah. I think Jay's trying to give him a little jerk and a little Dutch rudder under that chair. I don't know that you guys have some high power. What did it feel like getting drafted out of TCU in the second round? 